It's great to have you here today. Can you Thank briefly you. introduce yourself to the viewers? All right, so my name is Tomono Uibe. Uh, I'm running a company Quest called Quest3 based in Tokyo, Japan. Mm -hmm. And this company is uh, trying to make uh, you know, contents fund, like a you know, Japanese anime oh, fund, or Japanese okay. music fund, wow. or Japanese game fund. And the first step is we already you know, released the uh, Anime fund with Mizuho Securities, oh. which is one of the biggest uh, securities companies in Japan, and uh, we are now trying to, mm -hmm. you know, use the security token to, yeah. you know, uh, broad, broaden the investor category mm -hmm. to the all over the world, world in the future. Wow! So that's why I attended this oh, okay. summit today. How's um, STO market in Japan these days? Are they strict with regulations or? Uh, actually, Japanese STO market is pretty much big. Oh, is it? And but uh, I think ninety-five percent, mm -hmm. more than ninety-five percent of the you know asset is a real estate. Oh, okay, real and estate. Real estate mm -hmm. and the and the the blockchain is uh, you know very consortium and yeah. uh, private blockchain. Mm. Uh, and uh, we actually had a partnership with Avalanche. Oh, which is you know, a yeah. much more public and global mm. blockchain uh, to be you know, using the uh, fund tokenization business. Mm. So yeah, in Japan, there is a big STO cool. uh, uh, market, but yeah. very, for me, it's mm. very domestic and oh, okay. close. So. so you mentioned that you guys are having partnership with those famous Japanese animation studio. Uh, yes, so right. some like yes, Ghibli yeah. Studio? No, no. no? <laughs> uh, I mean, so... Yeah, they're the most famous yeah, one, right? Yes, I mean, yeah. we are... Uh, this did is not, you know, decided yet. Oh, okay. And uh, we are co-working... Co mm -hmm. We are co-working with some produ movie producers oh, okay. and anime productions mm -hmm. and some, you know, mo uh, you know, Japanese content major companies. Cool. So, but, you know, now, you know, we are trying to... Mm -hmm. uh, how can I say? Uh, Set the you know to set up uh, the team. team? Yeah. Okay. Um, that, as you mentioned, that you guys are um, having partnership with Japanese contents. Contents. Do company, you mean yeah. that? Is that all include like J-pop or J drama, J movie, or just based on animation? Uh, possibly in the future, but mm -hmm. now uh, the first project is focusing on the anime animation movie. Animation only. Animation okay. movie only, mm -hmm. and uh, we are now thinking to raise funds for the three anime oh, okay. uh, movie produc uh, production uh, for our first stage uh -huh. and uh, to sell the you know, Japanese professional investors only mm -hmm. and uh, but you know the impact is very huge because okay. uh, you know ja from the Japanese anime production side mm -hmm. the funding scheme is very limited mm -hmm. and closed and very domestic yeah. but we are trying to you know make it open and cool. uh, you know many other investors can invest in the Japanese content. Oh. Okay, then what do you think the main difference between Korea's STO market and Japan's STO market? Um, actually, I'm not, you know, quite sure. <laughs> quite sure about yeah. the Korean STO market. market. Yeah. But I, I can say from the in entertainment market mm -hmm. perspective, yeah. you know, actually, Korea is ahead oh, to is the it? Japanese oh. entertainment funding market okay. because, you know, uh, most of Koreans movie mm -hmm. f is funded from the you know financial fund uh, oh. fund and there are so many movie funds in korea yeah. and it's very natural you mm -hmm. know the production side is reaching reaching to the funds mm -hmm. and uh, but in japan there is no such a oh, you know, really? examples in then japan. how do they make movies then if they don't in get japan fund? yeah so in japan the business business run content business runners is also investors oh. so they have a very strong wow. power and that's why that's the, you know, Japanese yeah. production is, is uh, much more less oh. power compared to the global standard. I see. So that's why oh. this you know, new scheme mm -hmm. will I mean, solve the, mm. some problems in Japanese content industry. Okay, cool. Then what unique solutions or technologies does your company offer to the STO market? So What's the main strength? Mm -hmm. so, so we, mm. that don't have our own technology oh, so okay. i mean so we can select the <laughs> mm -hmm. best you know best partnership 
yeah. and the best selection oh. about the technology. And uh, so I believe current at, at this stage, mm -hmm. the Avalanche is yeah. one of the best uh, partnership in oh, this okay. blockchain spaces. Yeah. And uh, so because they their technology is chosen by the you know global financial yeah, institutions already, mm -hmm. so there is a reason. Mm -hmm. So if I try to make a new financial product mm -hmm. and making that kind of product, yeah. You know, tokenizing mm. uh, in our is definitely our best oh. partnership. Cool. Then, in your opinion, <coughs> what does the future hold for the SEO market in the next five to ten years? Mm. Do you think it will get bigger? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Definitely. So, I mm. used to work in the traditional financial yeah. market. Mm. So, I know how much costs, you know, how much it, it costs yeah. to maintain the traditional financial mm. market. Mm -hmm. and the, you know, strong point of blockchain technology mm -hmm. reducing that kind of cost. Mm -hmm. So there is there is a you know simple you know, reason to mm -hmm. use the blockchain technology. Yeah. And uh, and I, I think the cross border is mm -hmm. uh, you know most important to you know uh, using this technology. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Then is there any advice you'd give to companies or investors who are interested? to start their new journey in STO industry? Uh, from, from my other voice? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so tokenization or security token is mm -hmm. just a major, just a way yeah. to make something happen. Mm -hmm. So this is not a purpose. Mm -hmm. So for like, like us, we need to, we, we like to change the Japanese content industry. Mm -hmm. We need to make a, you know, Japanese created much more power uh, using the financial, financial, I mean, major. Mm -hmm. And uh, blockchain and the security token is the, just a major uh, you know, to make this happen. Mm -hmm. So, so I, I think I can say this is important. This is, blockchain is still is not the purpose. Okay. This is the major of mm. uh, you know, something happens okay. in the future. Cool, that's all for today's interview. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.